This is largely about placing a pebble in a person's shoe. Hey, how's it going, officer? I'm here to show you how to take photos of snowflakes. I'm asking if you are taking pictures of the PD. It's kind of suspicious. The assumptions that we make are very important. A lot of times when we engage in these conversations, there are things that we just assume about the person that we're talking to that usually you're okay, but if you get deep into a conversation, you start hitting roadblocks, you might want to revisit these assumptions. Uh, this time of night, people Yeah, yeah, so, I understand. Uh, so, I'm just gathering content for a story. I'm not doing nothing against the law or anything. Uh, I understand. I just, it, yeah. it's suspicious. I'll start with the word epistemology because it's, a, it's an intimidating word. Uh, it simply means the study of knowledge. It's the, it's the study of how people come to know the things that they claim to know. So, it's for a story? Yeah. Hey, can I get your name, sir? Uh, Officer Crowder. Okay, what's your badge number? I can't see you. The badge oh, number. 3906. Okay. But, right. What about you, Officer? Are you like with the cop blocker stuff? What, what's your name, sir? Are you with the cop blocker stuff? Can I have your name, sir? It's right here. What's your badge number? So, it, just, it just says police officer. It doesn't 1348. say. 1348. Just filming? I mean, what, what's it for? What story? Uh, I'm just gathering content for a story, sir. What okay. story? We're, we're not trying to be anything. We're just curious. I mean, because it's our police department, we don't want anybody breaking into our police department, our yeah. fire department. Yeah. You know, we'll make sure everybody's safe. Everybody's safe. So. Yeah. This is largely about placing a pebble in a person's shoe. Just trying to figure out. You know, I don't know who you are. Huh? I don't know if you're taking pictures. To... Well, I'm, I'm just taking pictures in public. Oh, 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 that's fine. But I mean, you gotta understand the time of night. All right, it's what, almost 11 o'clock? Yeah, almost 11 o'clock. Kind of weird, somebody looks like you're casing our police station, fire station. I'm interested in what you believe. I'm not here to tell you what I think you should believe. There's a lot of stories where officers get ambushed. Mm -hmm. There's even stories where people, you know, ambush a police station. So you gotta understand, it looks a little suspicious, right? And how confident are you in this belief on a scale from, from zero to 100? I don't want to talk to you anymore, sir. Okay. Is well, that that's probable fine. cause to contact me? Well, actually it is. No, I do. Because it's, it's, person, it's not probable cause. It is. It's suspicious activity. Uh, how confident are you in this belief on a scale from, from zero to 100? That's so, right. can, I I go and, to can I go and see your driver's license and ID, please? No, that, that's all right. Well, you're a suspicious person. This is largely about placing a pebble in a person's shoe. And that's I not have, a law. Uh, but that's I not have, a crime I've, I've broken. That gives me reasonable suspicion to contact them. So no, I'm asking, can I see your driver's license or any proof, ID, anything like that? That's all right, sir. All right. I'm in a public, I'm in a public, in a public space. Okay. So, you know, unless I've committed a crime, I, I'm not going to ID. Just a suspicious person. Questions rule the day. We're always asking questions to, to please explain to me how you concluded that this is true. All right, no, but... I'm just, I'm, I told you what I was doing. I'm gathering content for a story. I know. Filming, filming. Fire station number one, the public building, that's all I'm doing. I'm, and, I'm, and, not, I'm not breaking any laws. And, and, and I'm completely fine with that. All right. But I need to ID you. So if something I'm, happens okay. later, okay, so I can I'm say who was here doing it. I'm a concerned oh. citizen. And I'm fine with that. Okay. I'm completely right. fine with that. But I'm just asking you for an ID or a driver's license because you are a suspicious person. Okay. The activity In public. Doing, yeah, but the activity you're doing is suspicious. Okay. It a looks suspicious like, person is not breaking But it law. looks like you're casing my police department. This is largely about placing a pebble in a person's shoe. Is that, is that correct? What? A suspicious person is not breaking the law. No, but okay, it gives you, me reasonable you. suspicion. Okay. It gives me reasonable suspicion to find out what you're doing. Okay. And I told you what I was doing. Because it's suspicious activity. Did I not tell you what I was doing? You did. But you're being very vague, and you're not answering right. any of my questions. Right. I'll, I'll, and I'm asking for driver's license. I'll explain in detail. I'm, okay. I'm here to show you how to take photos of snowflakes. For a story, and I'll be filming in public. Okay. What's the story for? Snowflakes. Just, I'm just filming, just filming in public buildings. Okay. Well, I, I'm fine with that. Okay. All I need to do is see your driver's license, and if you're good, I'll have you on your way, and I won't bother you anymore. How confident are you in this belief on a scale from from zero to 100. Well, I, I know I'm good, so. Okay. Well, I'm telling you, I need to see your driver's license. Okay, I what, have reasons on, listen, what law listen, have I broken? On, listen, listen, listen to me real quick. This is largely about placing a pebble in a person's shoe. Okay, while you're filming me, I don't care, because I'm filming you too. Okay. All right. You're a suspicious person. Mm -hmm. You want to start looking for clues. Where do I need to meet this person? Is this person ready for evidence? Or are, do they need to be questioned a little bit? You're taking pictures, videotaping my police department, 
my fire department. Yeah. All right. I've already told you to me why it's suspicious. And how confident are you in this belief on a scale from from zero to 100? Because there are officers and that have been hurt, fire stations, police stations that have been attacked by people. Another assumption that we make is that the person that you're speaking to wants to believe true things. Well, I don't, I don't have listen, any weapons. Listen, I don't, I'm listen, not going to hurt you. I'm not saying you do. I'm not saying you do. Listen to me. So it looks suspicious. This is largely about placing a pebble in a person's shoe. Which gives me reasonable suspicion to stop you and ID you. There are a lot of people that have told me that it's okay if I'm believing something that's not true. It's scary when you hear somebody say that. And if you prod a little bit, people will usually back off on that, especially if you use an example with one of their children. Okay, right? well, so, are well, you aware listen, that Texas listen, is not listen, stopping ID, listen, right? Listen, listen, all right? So I'm asking you, do you have a driver's license? Well, hold on, listen, I do, you, I do have a driver's anything, license. Before you say anything else, let me explain to you. Do you have a driver's license or ID that I can see? And if you fail to give me your driver's license and you want a failed ID, that is a crime. You I'm, taking pictures is not a crime, okay. and I have no problem with that okay. whatsoever. Listen, listen, listen. I understand what you're saying, the failure to ID and all that, but well, if I'm not breaking the law, and I understand if I don't ID myself, it's against the law, but you have to state a crime that I've committed before you can ID me. No, not Suspicious person. Uh, that could be problematic when people think words uh, just have an inherent meaning, that they're not made by human beings. And one thing that I've done, I, I spent a month once just going out with my camera, and I was carrying around a dictionary, asking people what they thought about what do you think about a dictionary when you see that? How do you think words are formed? Can you take me through the process? Not suspicious not person in filming in public is not a law. No, uh, you're, I'll, I will tell you, you're wrong okay. on that, okay? <laughs> filming in public, you're right, it, it's not against okay, the law. Okay, suspicious person but, is not breaking the law. Okay, but it's not breaking the law. It gives me reason to ID you, though. Just like if a All concerned right, I, citizen- I want a supervisor, can just, you call your supervisor? Yeah. <laughs> call your supervisor. 301, you mind coming out here? They're requesting to talk to a supervisor, please. But here's what I'm gonna tell you. All right, just like if you're a concerned citizen in your house and you see somebody walking on your street and you deem they're suspicious and you call us and tell us that's a suspicious person, that gives me reasonable. This is a huge barrier to the progress of street epistemology when your interlocutor does not want to be honest with you or themselves. To ask what yeah. I'm doing, but not to ID myself. Yo, no, it gives me okay, reason I, to ID. Okay, what the, the sergeant says. Oh, it's gonna be a lieutenant. Well, okay, right. we'll All wait. The for lieutenant will. Yep. Would you be opposed to giving me your driver's license? I know he is. What are you hoping to get out of this conversation? Man, I'm asking you since you're with him. What are you hoping to get out of this conversation? Can I see your driver's license or ID card? What are you hoping to get? Refusing to talk and not give your driver's license the same as if you just say no. So I'm asking you. What are you hoping to get out of this conversation? Would you please give me your driver's license or ID card? That's all you have to say. You don't answer any questions. It's the Fifth Amendment. You don't have to answer any questions. That's the way you want to play. In the First Amendment, to my right to film in public from a public no, area, a public you're, space. You're completely right. And on I know that. that's you know no trespassing. I see the yeah. sign right there. Yeah. I'm on a public sidewalk yeah. coming from a public viewpoint. You are completely correct. Yes, sir, I am. And I agree with you 100 percent, except for it's kind of suspicious. Do you want to help a person? Are you looking to deconvert somebody? Do you want to ridicule them? Do you want to make yourself feel better by tearing somebody else down? Looks like you're oh, casing it's out. It's suspicious or it's kind of suspicious? It's suspicious that okay. you're sitting here taking pictures of our fire station or our police department so at 11 o'clock at night. So I can't walk down the sidewalk and film without being harassed? I can't walk down the sidewalk without being harassed? You can, but it's suspicious. The time of night you're out, okay. the area you're in, and okay. the fact that it looks like you're casing a police department. Am I open to believing what they believe? As crazy as it possibly may sound, Am I open to believing? If they have a good reason, I should be willing to accept it or investigate it and look into it further. All right, all those together. Well, this is the land of the free, home of the brave. I should be able to walk down oh, the street. Oh, no, I, I agree, because I, I protect the home of the free, yes. or yes. land of the free, home of the brave. I served my country for nine years in yes. the military, fighting for that right. I understand I, just, I want to be able to film and walk in public without being contacted. And, and I am completely okay with that, except for right now, because what you're filming, the way you're going about it, I'm asking you for a driver's license or ID card because it's suspicious. I like doing this. This is that scale where we ask a person, how sure are you on a scale from zero to 100 that this belief is true? Well, I want to talk to the lieutenant. Okay. Well, he's going to come over here. Right now, they're talking to him, tell him what's going on. He'll come over and talk to him. Oh, well, that's not good. The lieutenant will be coming. Okay. That's All right. So you won't even tell me a story? Like, I, I honestly I'm, I'm filming public buildings and, and 
right, I'm, I'm informing the public. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm showing the public that I can even film in public and I'm allowing the public to know their rights. Uh, because you guys don't like people knowing their rights. No, I love for people to know their rights. It actually makes my job easier. If people know their rights, because then I don't have people misquoting the law. Yes. So I am completely fine. I love to educate. In fact, I often talk to people when I stop and tell them what their rights are and what they're allowed to do with their rights within public. I'd much rather educate. We're dedicated to enduring peace. Over here. Do you guys, are you going to hang out here? You want to go to the front or what do you want to do? Uh, no, we're going to be leaving. We're going to be leaving. Well, I'm saying... I'm fixing to leave. We're, what we're, I'm head, we're heading that way. Okay. If you still want to talk to the supervisor, I'm, I'm asking. Are, do you want to stay here? Or do you want to go to the front, or where do you want to go? Oh, I'll just stay right here. That's all right. Uh, cool. I mean, if I'm free to go, yeah, then I'm going to leave. Well, no, I'm no, I'm not saying you're free to okay. go. Am I, am, I, am I being detained, or am I free to go? You're you're detained. Okay. For and, right. and what law have I broken? First activity. I like doing this. This is that scale where we ask a person, "How sure are you, on a scale from zero to one hundred, that this belief is true?" And suspicious activity is a law that that's had been broken. No, but that allows me to conduct an investigation. Okay. And while conducting my investigation. And now that you know that I'm not breaking a law, after you contact me, you should be okay, sir. You should be free to go. Well, you're not breaking a law, so but have a nice But your day. suspicious activity allows me to ID. Okay. All right. How sure are you, on a scale from zero to one hundred, that this belief is true? Well, I'm gonna, and you're I'm gonna sit to here ID. and talk to the lieutenant. Okay. Well, we'll sit here. I can sit here and wait all night. That's fine. Me I'll too. I, I can. I, you know. And we don't carry any ID on us, so. Well, you know, that's against the law. No, it isn't. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, no, it isn't. Yeah. I don't you're, know if you're aware of you this, have... but I have a YouTube channel. So when I post this, the people are going to see everything okay. you're saying. Oh, I understand. And, and I know that but... you're allowed to lie to the public. No, no. You're huh? not going to be able to fool me. I'm just letting huh? you know. Well, I'm saying, if you fail to carry any ID on you, let's say you do get stopped, all right, and an officer asks for your ID and you don't have it on you, that's felt a display, which is against the law. That's what I'm trying okay. to tell you. All right, but there, there's other ways around it. There's other ways around it. Oh, well, no. I don't, I don't have to just because carry it on me like that. If you felt a display okay. to an all officer, right. all right, officer. For, yeah, I mean, that, that's against the law. It's a classy misdemeanor ticket that you can be arrested and put in jail for. All right. And I like to ask them, what reason drives your confidence the most? This is not stopping ID, sir. This is not Nazi uh, Germany. I'm, I'm not stopping you. We're just, just ID. No, no, we're just on the look, sidewalk look, 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 in public, look, and you came to us. Look, you didn't. We didn't come to you. Look, you came I to came us. I came to you because of the suspicious okay, activity. All right, and I'm going to be filing a police report against you. Okay. Uh, uh, a police report or a formal complaint? A formal complaint. Okay, officer. that's fine. As soon as my lieutenant gets here, this is, this is illegal. Take that. You said I'm being detained, so this is illegal yeah. detaining you. No, I not, no. I have not, you know, broken It's not illegal law. detainment. Yes, we conduct an investigation based detainment. off suspicious activity. Okay, well, this is, how is it suspicious? I'm in public, I'm on the sidewalk. I've already told you. People, this you're, is what people do on a the sidewalk, they walk. You're, it looks like you are casing out my police department. Okay. How sure are you? on a scale from 0 to 100 that this belief is true. All that, right. To me, that is what it looks like. Okay, that is suspicious activity. Right. And I like to ask them, what reason drives your confidence the most? Well, I'll have the lieutenant set you straight. He'll tell you, hey, they're not breaking the law. They're okay. not doing anything wrong. And that's fine. That's, that's fine. If I've been in this situation find, many times. I, I believe you 110%. So if you want to file a formal complaint, that's fine. In, I have in no which I will. With that. Okay. Right. That is completely fine with me, sir. Will not be the first thing. Well, it should be the last. You should, you know, learn to interact with the public and, you know, no, no, I do mean, your even, job the right way. Well, people are always going to call the complaints. I mean, not if you do things the right way. You know? Well, even if you do things the right way, people call them This is largely about placing a pebble in a person's shoe. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Lieutenant? My name is Patrick. Uh, I'm just out here in public doing some public filming. Uh, just on the sidewalk. Good <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to go in the gate or anything. Just for the public viewpoint. Okay. 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 Okay, okay, we don't have an issue with that. Just to understand it and see it from our, our point of view. When we encounter, when we have a conversation with people, we usually think that they're, they're probably able to put themselves in another person's shoe, but there are people that actually can't do that. Is terrorism the way it is today? If a person is not being honest with you or themselves, it's hard to make progress. You know, I mean, Fort Lauderdale the other day was a prime example. So you see somebody taking pictures, it's going to be one of those things of, okay, what are you doing? 
long as you're as long as you're not doing anything wrong, it's fine. But that's going to draw our attention to go, okay, why in the world would somebody be taking the pictures in the back of the police station? And, you know, you guys, they're doing training and things like that. So we understand. We don't have an issue with it. But, that, you know, that's yeah, just I, the Yeah, I understand, you know, you want to ask and, you know, see what I'm doing and everything. And I kind of told them what I, briefly what I was doing. I'm just gathering content in their store. I'm just filming, you know, from a couple of, you know, viewpoints. I mean, I'm not trying to break the law or do anything illegal. <laughs> that's just what I'm doing. I'm just filming. And uh, I'm not going to. No, you're fine. No, we don't have an issue with that. It's just like I said, that's the reason why we come up trying to figure out what's going on. Exactly. Yeah. You know, 10 o'clock, 10, 11 o'clock at night, somebody's yeah. out here and we see flashes. It's like, okay, it's not supposed to rain till tomorrow. But, you yeah. know, just trying to figure out what's going on from that point. But no, we don't have an issue with you out here taking it. And More than welcome to. The right. reason I told them the only reason I want to see his ID is because of the suspicious activity, like you said, and, 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 you know, and, and, and everything. That I want our police station to be safe. And how confident are you in this belief on a scale from, from zero to 100? And for if any reason something happens, I just want to know that who was out here taking pictures. I'm not saying you're going to commit a crime, but if something happens later, you understand. It helps us investigate who did it. Yeah. And we know that you were out here. It, it, that's all it is. That's the only reason I want to see your ID. It's ID. I mean, that's I have no problem. I have no problem. All I want to do is see your ID, and then I was going to let you go. I wasn't going to bother you anymore. I was going to let you keep taking pictures. Yeah, what's, you know, kind of cold out here. I understand, but... You're fine. And like I said, that's the reason why. And anytime we get on, so we come up to somebody and we're trying to figure out what's going on and what they're doing, and it appears suspicious, which in this position, it does not that it... That it there's a hundred times a day that we go on something that looks suspicious and we get there and find out now there ain't nothing wrong with it. They live here or they're supposed to be here or whatever. But that's that's the routine that we go through to ask for identification so we know. Because again, if something, something did happen, God, let's hope it never does. But if something did happen tonight, 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 tonight not only could you, be a, could you be a suspect, but really nice, you could probably be a witness. You may have seen something that we didn't see or our security cameras or whatever may not have caught or things like that. And how confident are you in this belief on a scale from from zero to 100. So, you know, those are the reasons why that we ask for things like yeah. that. And if you guys are interested in doing a story, I mean, whether that's Lancaster or again, I don't know what you're doing a story on. Yeah. Or if it's just more about the police department in general. Yeah, it's, it's just... This is largely about placing a pebble in a person's shoe. Yeah. We, we've got programs that we can, we can give you a tour. Right? We're more than happy to let you take pictures. <laughs> Inside, you know. Uh, yeah. Just get with our community officer, Officer Beck, and like I said, he'll be, he'll be more than happy to take you and you know, run you through whatever you'd like to, whatever you'd like to see and things like that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Any other questions? That's, that's it. All right. Y'all have a good night. Okay. Try to get somewhat warm. Okay. Nice night. It all of a sudden got cold here in the last couple of hours. This is largely about placing a pebble in a person's shoe.